All rise. Judge Vander B. Court is now in session. Judge, this is case number JVB1041, Williams case. Thank you. You're welcome. You all may be seated. Okay, Mrs. Williams, you brought this case before the court. What's going on? Yes, ma'am. Um, we have three children together. Um, I have not received any child support from him. We, our children go to private school. They play sports, dance lessons, singing lessons. They're very active and it's very expensive. Um, we do share custody and time, but I pay for private school. He pays for health insurance and that's all. I pay for everything else. What kind of money you make to be paying all of that? Uh, I'm an attorney. Oh, okay. But I'm used to a certain lifestyle. I mean, I, I can't even afford to get my nails done, my hair done. Wait a minute. So you're an attorney, which means you got to at least make $150,000, $250,000 a year. And you can't afford to get your nails done, your hair done. It seems like after divorce, a lot of women, they just let themselves go. She looks a lot older than he does. I mean, if you can't afford to get your nails and hair done, how much is nails? What? $75 a month. Hair is what? I don't know how much hair is for women. $200, $300, I don't know. But come on. A lot of women do their hair at home. So how can you afford private school, which has to be about 20, 30, 40,000 a year? I don't know how much. And you can't afford a few hundred dollars a month. You already can smell the greed on her. It's embarrassing. You're an I'm attorney spending, yes, and you can afford tuition, but not to get your nails done. Because all my money's going exactly. to tuition and all of their extracurricular activities. I've been sacrificing the things <clears> that I'm used to that I was able to do before when we were still together and we had that combined income. And now all my money is going to the kids and I don't have any money left for the lifestyle that I've been accustomed to. And get There we go, the lifestyle that she's been accustomed to. This is what I'm saying. A lot of these women, they want you to pay for them even after y'all break up or y'all get a divorce. They want you to buy them things and, and, and siphon your money out to them just because the relationship is over. This stuff is never for the kids. Notice that she says, my lifestyle, what I want, what I want. Getting my nails done and my hair and massages and things like that. It's massages. still not making sense to me, but okay. Is that all you wanted to let me know before I move over to him? Yes. Okay. Mr. Williams, make this make sense. You know, although she makes more money, she has an extravagant lifestyle. The hair, the nails, the oh. massage. You know, she didn't tell you about the personal chef or the maid oh. that she has come clean the house every week. So now it's making sense, okay. And uh, let alone the drinking problem that you have. Drinking problem. The weekly stops to the liquor store to have a curbside pickup. Come on now. You brought him to court? Yes. For child support? Yes, ma'am. How much money do you make? $70,000 a year. I make, a, I make $100,000 less than she does. And she still wants more. But again, I pay for every, pretty much everything. I'll I mean, you make over a hundred thousand dollars what he makes, so it's one hundred seventy-five, two hundred thousand dollars. It looks like she's worn out. Like she does drink a lot. Like she's some sort of alcoholic. She loves wine. She just looks like life is kind of beat her down compared to how he looks. The only thing he pays for for the kids is the health insurance. I pay for everything. Health else. insurance is pretty important. You'd agree with it, me, right? It is, and I appreciate that. I do. But I don't want to pull my kids from private school or, or you know, take them out of the things that they love to do because I, I can't afford it. Right. And don't say that again because you can't afford it. If what he's saying is true, you're getting these, your nails done, you're going on trips, you're doing all of these other things, you know, especially going to the liquor store. Alcohol is not cheap. You can't afford it. You're just choosing to do something other than what you should be doing, which is taking care of these children. Now, how often are you all, I'm assuming you don't live together anymore, right? Correct. All right, how often are you all ch exchanging the children? We have them equally, so that'll be two weekends a month. Okay, all right, yeah. You came in here to waste my time. I'm not getting ready to play with you. I am not going to make him pay you child support when you make $100,000 more than he does. You didn't object when he said you make $100,000 more than him. So he's telling the truth, right? Yeah. yeah. You, what kind of lawyer are you? Never mind. Um, 
So this is what we're going to do. I am going to base child support off of what's called an offset, okay? So I'm going to do the child support calculations for the both of you and subtract it. And the difference is going to go to the person who makes more, which is you, all right? So with 2,000, 200,000, excuse me, and 70,000, is that correct? Okay. You actually cap out so your gross is about $12,325.35. Dad, your gross is $5,833.33, bringing your net to $9,200 for you, $4,664.67 for you. Health insurance, you pay it, how much is it? It's $100 a month. Okay, you're gonna split that. So $50 for you, $50 for you. Mom, your child support obligation comes down. Well, hold on. How many children? Two children, right? We have uh, three children between us and four total. Three children, four total. Who has the other child? Okay. Thank you for telling me that because that reduces your child support obligation and increases yours. <laughs> listen, I like this judge, but listen. The system is against men. It's against fathers. This is sick and sad. A lot of these women know that I can run to the court system and I can increase his child support. I'm mad that he's moved on. I'm mad that he got another girlfriend. He's married. It's a lot of women who just hate to see the kids have a good relationship with the dad. So they say, you know what? I'm going to punish this man. I know he's paying this. I know he's buying him this. But I want to put him on the books because I'm bitter and angry. It's sad, too. So the difference in adding the health insurance, it comes out to $1,533 per month. And Mrs. Williams, that's what you're going to be ordered to pay to him. Any questions about that? No. Look how she looking. Mad and bitter. <laughs> Backfired on her. This is karma at its, at its finest, man. Okay. Do you have any questions about anything I just said? No, ma'am. Okay. Well, if there's nothing further, you all are dismissed.